Good morning and thank you for taking the time to come and speak to our organization and taking this extra time to speak to me today. Uh, well, first, I want to tell you that your, your remarks to the Republican women were absolutely wonderful. They were inspiring. Um, I think you made a lot of fans in there Good. today. Yeah. Uh, so we're kind of curious about uh, the campaign. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge job, and your job has uh, got to be just amazing to be on the road all the time. You know, it's frustrating on one level, which is you wish you could do more, but you, you sort of hit this fatigue level, especially me dealing with MS. I have to really mm -hmm. be careful. So um, on one level, it's frustrating. I wish I could do more, um, but I'm out there, and it's making a difference, I think. And um, it's certainly made a difference in Iowa. I think the people of Iowa recognized. They saw something in Mitten Eye. Mm -hmm together with us together and the, the family values and the commitments that we have to each other and um, I think that really helped um, sway a lot of people our way in Iowa. That's wonderful. Now we know that women are going to be a major uh, voting block. Mm -hmm. We know that 54 percent is, is what the projected number mm -hmm. uh, percentage of the vote that will be cast by women. Mm -hmm. So um, how do you see the women in this campaign? How, how do you see them playing a part or, or addressing their concerns? You know, um, I think, um, I, I'm pretty confident Mitt is actually going to be the nominee of the party. And then if you think about what the issues are going to be mm -hmm. in the general election, I think um, health care mm -hmm. is going to be right up there. Immigration is, of course, is mm -hmm. more, maybe a little more important to Republicans' base than the Democratic base. But even across party lines, people are concerned about immigration, about health care, about education and security. Mm -hmm. And so when you look at each one of those issues, um, you would typically think that the Democrats might own health care and education. Uh, those would be kind of their issues that they would have dominance over. But this election is going to be different because Mitt's answer for health care solutions is revolutionary. He did it in Massachusetts without raising taxes, without making a, gover a government mandate mm -hmm. um, or socialized medicine or Hillary Care as he likes to call it. Right and found a solution to get everybody health insurance, and which is what everyone really is concerned about, is affordable and portable health insurance. He has been able to be innovative and creative and um, bringing all of his business skills and all of his good judgment and everything else to um, the table to solving some of these tough situations. He also thinks with education that the, the real importance um, for education is that we have to start competing with Asia now in sciences and math, and we have to really increase our, our focus on those subjects, but also looking at the inner city schools and how they're failing our children, and thinks that that is the civil rights issue of our day, really, is how much the inner city schools are failing our children. So the, the Democrats aren't going to be able to own those issues in the, in the 08 race. Um, it's going to be very strong on education and on health care. He's strong on immigration, um, on securing the border, and um, making legal immigration uh, the pathway to bringing citizens here, not illegal immigration, and um, security as well. He's very strong on defense, um, thinks we should add um, more troops to our ground numbers, and is really wants to increase um, the budget for military spending. We have a lot of women that are small business owners. Mm -hmm. We're seeing that a segment of the uh, of the population grow. Uh, more uh, businesses are started by women now than than men, and they, it's an important part of our economy. Uh, I hear uh, from business women that one of their concerns is is uh, the spending in Washington mm -hmm. and their concern for the economic security and health of the country. Mm -hmm. So. Um, how are we going to address that problem? Well, you know, uh, Mitt's been there, done that. I mean, he's probably the only person that is running for president on either side of the aisle that has actually really run things. Um, he's run small businesses, big businesses, the Olympics. He's been governor. He knows the problems of um, all the regulation and all the overspending and the bureaucracy in Washington. He was able in Massachusetts as governor to take his private principles that he learned in, gov in uh, running small business and large businesses himself and apply it to paring down the bureaucracy in Massachusetts. And he was able to do it with bipartisan support, which is another really thing that's missing a lot. Wonderful. So is there one thing you'd like to tell 
us that we don't know yet about Mitt. Uh. <laughs> oh, let's see. Um, you know, he, he really is a family guy and mm -hmm. cannot stand to be on the road too long without one of us being with him. He gets very, very down um, if he's on the road for two or three days and either I'm not there with him or one of the kids. So we have kind of figured that out and we're, we're trying to, you know, keep him as happy as we can because this is a, a grueling experience and um, one thing we have found is that to keep him happy, we've got to kind of have some, somebody in the family with him. That's wonderful. Again, thank you for taking the time and thank you for coming thank and speaking you. to the women. You're a huge hit uh, and we wish you all the best of luck uh, on the campaign trail. Thank you. Thank you.